They're the Australian-made weapons carriers that Germany wants, and they're willing to spend big. The Prime Minister arriving in Berlin to oversee the deal, one of the biggest in Australia's history. This will be one of our largest ever exports. This will boost our sovereignty. This will increase our defence capability and boost our economy. Around 100 of these boxer vehicles will be built near Brisbane and sent to Germany from 2025. The deal worth more than a billion dollars to the Australian economy. These will be produced in Queensland, uh, creating, of course, the 1,000 jobs that are there at Rhein Metall. Anthony Albanese is in Germany to also talk about security and potentially joining the Climate Club, an alliance of nations committed to net zero emissions by 2050. There are enormous opportunities that Australia has, particularly on green hydrogen. Uh, this has been a priority of the German government under Chancellor Schultz, but it's also been a priority of my government. The Prime Minister will then head to the NATO summit in Lithuania. Australia's been invited this year along with other non-NATO nations, Japan, South Korea and New Zealand. All are key players in the Indo-Pacific, highlighting increasing concerns about security in the region. But the main focus of the summit will be the war in Ukraine. Kyiv's hoping the pathway to join NATO will become clearer at this year's summit. But the bloody conflict needs to end before the 31-country alliance can grant Ukraine membership. Instead, it's likely they'll promise more weapons to fight Russia rather than a roadmap to joining NATO. Steve Kinane, ABC News, Berlin.